take one mark. I've overcome some mental health stuff. I think mostly facing like burnout, just kind of finding ways to push through that burnout. And I think the number one way that I've overcome that was finding my autonomy, realizing that I'm choosing this. I choose to do this every day and I might be facing this daily struggles, but it's a struggle that I'm choosing to face and it's fully mine and just holding onto it as my own. My mom, uh, so cliche, but my mom is such an amazing woman and I admire her because she's just a go-getter. She doesn't ask for help. She puts her nose to the grindstone and she goes and she does it with zero complaints. I just admire her work ethic so much. I admire that she always dreams big. I admire her heart, she's kind. And that's someone that comes to mind that I admire. I'm currently working through really doing things outside of the gym. And that's in the way of like recovery. And that's in the way of proactive work. Get a good warm up in, making sure that my nutrition's right, doing all my extra rehab. And then after the gym, I'm trying to get in my ice baths, I'm Norma teching, I'm rolling out, I'm doing all the things that kind of come together to make being on the court that much better. I hung out with my sister in my RV, which I live in. Her name's Charlie, short for Charles Parkley. She's my best friend. But I hung out in my RV with my sister and we watched Game of Thrones and we played video games all day and we just had like a nice little self-care day. This is such a cliche, but Dream a Little Dream of Me by Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong, it is a bop. And if you ever have a nice cup of tea on a rainy morning and you're sitting at your window and you play that song, you'll know what I'm talking about. Very niche moment, but do it, it feels great.